An all-in-one starter kit for weathering a realistic rust? We have a look at Ammo by Make's solution box for rust weathering, which is actually more than that, coming up on JC's Rip Track. Hi there, my name is John and welcome to JC's Rip Track, a place for advice and tips on adding realism to your model trains or modeling anything for that matter. So if you're looking for ways to transform your plastic models into something that looks like it belongs on the rails today, click on subscribe and that little bell icon that appears to receive a notification every time there's a new video. So have there been any all-in-one kits or weathering packages that you're interested in and haven't tried? Let me know in the comments section below. With the Down and Dirty Weathering Contest number three on the way, I thought it would be a good idea to share with you some different techniques or packages that we might be able to find to help us in our weathering process. This video happens to be one of them. I've had people ask me if there's a beginner's kit out there somewhere that could give people who are just getting into weathering a jump start. The short answer to that up until this point has been, well, not really. I mean, sure, you could get weathering powder kits or a set of airbrush paints, but these were small little things and not necessarily an all-in-one solution to the challenge that weathering presents. Recently, Ammo by MIG started putting out what they call solution boxes. Basically, they are all-in-one kits, giving hobbyists almost everything they needed to paint a particular subject. Ammo by MIG is a company dedicated to modeling with a significant number of their products focused on painting and weathering. The solution boxes have included various World War II subjects, whether they are tanks or aircraft, and even science fiction subjects like an Imperial TIE fighter. These solution boxes came with all of the necessary paints and essential tools and instructions needed to complete the job from start to finish and to get some solid results. The company has recently put out a realistic rust solution box, which is not specific to a type of model, but rather an overall effect. And I was curious about the solution boxes before, but when the Rust one came out, I decided to order one, even if I already had one or two of the included products. So as a disclaimer, this is not a paid promotional video. I bought this kit myself for what was in it and how I could use it for my work. However, I thought some of you might be interested to see what's in it and if it is worth the money or worth the investment for yourself. Additionally, these solution boxes are available through local hobby shops or Ammo by Big directly rather than from Amazon. So I don't earn any sort of commission off of this. So this is my free opinion without anything attached to it. So let's go over to my hobby desk and have a look at what you get. The box itself is quite large but flat at about 18 inches by 12 inches. So it barely fits into the frame. But once it does, this is how it looks. Okay, this is my unboxing of this solution box from Ammo by MIG. And this was something that I've been look at, looking to get that it is a, basically it's kind of an all-in-one starter kit. And what I wanted to do was just have a chance to actually just open this up. Now I'm gonna be doing with a project with this a little later on, but I wanted to give a chance to actually open it up to see what's actually in this, because in many respects, this is kind of a starter kit that you can actually get and get ready to weather pretty much out of the box, almost. Uh, so let's have a look and the, we'll take a look inside it. Now, the color of the box, it, this is a very large box. It's a, 18, uh, about 18 inches wide, probably about 12, uh, 12 inches or so. Hold on. No, uh, yeah, it's about a, uh, 18 inches wide by, by by about a foot. And as you can see here, it's it's got a, the model here. Like that's the an example of the model that's actually done with the materials that are are in in the box. And there's a number, as you can see here, there's a number of paints here. We're going to open it up and have a a look at what's in there. But it says it's everything that you need to to get started. So we're gonna open this thing up and 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 have a look. And the first thing is is that uh, it actually gives you a color presentation, making sure that you know that you've got everything everything in there. But more specifically, inside the box itself, there's a bit of foam packing here. And don't discount that. Don't throw that away because that is actually relevant to to something that that you can do with with this 
This is probably the most important part of the book. This is uh, how to re paint realistic rust, as you can see, and it's it's a full book. It describes the materials, like all of these materials that you see here actually come come in the spot in the box here, and then gives you a full description of each each item that that you that you can have. There are a couple of items that they actually t uh, that they talk about here that they there's little icons that tell you is it in this box or not. Everything generally is in here, but there's some nice to have. For example, spray primers and some acrylic thinner, which isn't absolutely necessary for for what's in for what's in these. But we're still going to have a chance to a chance to try them out. And then it just it actually gives a fairly detailed description of each of the items that that you actually find in the box okay fine that's like you've got several pages of it but then it also provides a list of some recommended products but primarily this is working with what you've already with what actually comes uh, comes in the box and so we have just these ki uh, kinds of items these different these different icons that just make sure that you know what each step, because each of the steps have these icons. So there's a re reference page uh, here that you, that we'll need to come back to. But this is actually getting in, into it. Full introduction, step literally step by step. On the priming, you have the you know instructions to shake the paint. This is an airbrush, approximately the pressure that you need to apply it at, how far it is, and then how long it would take the, the primer to dry before you move on to the next step. And then it just goes through the process of, of the different paints, the instructions there, uh, the, the written, and each step goes through using all the different bits and pieces here. And here you actually get a description on how to use the worn paint effects that uh, that you have using the chipping medium that this actually comes with as well as the different techniques of being able to paint something and then actually do some different techniques so it's not just using one technique to do rust chipping but it's also using a number of different techniques and goes through. Anyway, I'm not going to take you through the whole book, but this is really good. So, but I need to set the book aside so you can actually see what's in in the rest of the box. So, again, it comes with a, the this open cell foam, which actually you may be able to use. So, here's here's the full range of everything that that comes in here. It comes with Ammo by MIG's one-shot primer, but this is all Ammo by MIG. It also comes with heavy chipping effects. But, you know, you've got thinner. And then you've got your acrylic paints. You've got a matte varnish. Some of the acrylic paints that, that you have is, for example, this one is a, it's a chipping color. The other thing about these paints from Ammo by Meg is that each of these have a little stainless steel ball in them. So when you shake them, you can hear that uh, that rattling sound. Really mixes up up the up the paint quite uh, quite well. The there's a desert a desert sand color for specifically doing it doing the effects here. Got rubber and tires, which also can be used for a, a wood texture. Got some ideas on that. And then these three are your medium rust your dark rust and and then there is also the old rust so you've got medium medium dark and and old rust and then in addition to that you also have some tracks wash for for doing things like pin washes and, and the like you've got a light rust wash and then fresh engine oil which is kind of an oil uh, greasy oil effect Frankly, for model railroading, this is really, uh, really good for doing bearing grease and the, and the like. And then over on this side, most importantly, it comes with all the paintbrushes you need. Uh, so that's that's really that's really cool. 
And then it comes with dark brown oil brusher as well as a red primer oil brusher. These two, I pretty sure that I have. And then the, the rust streaking. So there was a little bit of repeat with what I have, but some of them I don't have. For example, we have this light rust color from which is a part of a shader, uh, which is a new thing that I'm going to be using. And then it says there's a, a an extra that's inside the box and it's just taped up here. And what this is, is it looks like a brass toothpick, you know, like the, the, the round wo wooden toothpicks that, that you have. And it's just taped into the box here and that's used for doing some additional uh, chipping effects. So that's what you find in the solution box. I'm just gonna pack it, uh, pack it back up. As far as the box opening is concerned in terms of what you actually get for what is 77 euros, it's a decent price and it is really a, an out of the box kind of thing of starting kit. Now, that having been said, you do need an airbrush in order to be able to use this kit, uh, but virtually everything else you can have and ready to go more or less right right out of the box. It does give some re recommendations and this is a reason this particular book is a resource that uh, you can use and can uh, can come back to it as much as you as you, as you need to. And so for that reason, this I think is a very good investment. It's a good way to kind of kickstart your uh, weathering bench, especially when it comes to doing old rust colors and the like. So that's definitely recommended. At first blush, this is not a starter kit. It's a comprehensive all-in-one package complete with a full step-by-step -step instructions on using the included materials to get highly realistic results. It's aptly named as a solution box, as it has all of the supplies and guides that you need for almost any kind of rust work that you might do for your models, whether you're starting from scratch or weathering a factory painted model. Even the included packing foam itself can be torn out and used for sponge chipping. The only thing that's missing would be an airbrush, but that's not what you would expect to find in a kit like this. Most of the included techniques in the book don't require an airbrush, but some of them do. So now for the big question, does it work? Can you get this box, follow the instructions and get realistic results to what is demonstrated on the example tank model? Well, that's what I'm going to do next. Now that we've had a look inside of the solution box, I have an undecorated end scale box car that I will use as my test model using the included materials and following the step-by-step -step instructions and sharing that with you. I will make a video that is start to finish of the whole process and we can judge together whether the results are worth it. At first glance, I'm pretty sure that we're going to come out the other side of this with a somewhat realistic if decrepit looking end scale boxcar. So stay tuned and if you want more tips on how to get the most out of your weathering and painting projects, don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. If you haven't done so already, check out the other videos on this channel and some of the social media links below. So thanks so much for watching. Good luck and may you keep on track.